going on everybody? It's your boy Texas Nova here. Guys, I got a little update before you tell you what's going on. I am running out of material to talk about. So, got some AC action going on. Changing up my bulkhead through a pass through. Boom, let's check it out. All right, so what's going on? I got a huge mess in front of me. So, you know, I do my Nova in a one bay garage here. There's my other cars and I don't have enough room literally to turn around and do nothing. So I literally got to get the car, angle it. So I got to work on the passenger side because it literally sits right there where the fan at, I can't get it. Obviously I got to get in the passenger door, but so this is what's going on. I got my fender off and this is all my wires. Uh, that was my bulkhead. And this right here was the bulkhead right here. And let me show you. So it went through the firewall like that. And then that had a retaining ring that went around here. So obviously when I was a caveman, I kept breaking my O-rings. There's my O-ring right there. Couldn't get it tight enough. Couldn't get it too, no, I'm sorry. I got too tight or it wasn't tight enough. So to get that off, uh, fender had to come off. The bezel had to come out. Bumper had to be taken off on of one side so I can pull this forward. To get it around this lip here, all these bolts had to come off and everything to get to it. That is a pain in the ass. I don't like doing it. So what I did is I went to Vintage Air and I bought this pass through right here. This is gonna pass right through that firewall to the unit. So if I get a leak, guess what? It's not gonna be here anymore. It's gonna be here where the compressor is at, the, the condenser link fitting or under the dash. So I was like, okay, I don't have to drill anymore. Well, guess what? It's not fitting. So guess what? I got a grind here and that's going to stress me out because I'm going to have sparks and crap all over everywhere. I, I'm just, I don't want to do it, but I got to do it. Let's put some towels over. So let's go in the car. Let's see the train wreck that I have. All right. This is the train wreck that I have. That's the air conditioner. That's all my tools. I had one socket up in there. I know you can't hardly see it, but uh, I could hardly get to it. I didn't know what size it was. I went through all my tools, kind of to find out it was just finger tight, duh. So this is the other, that is the other portion right there. I'm trying to do this, sorry guys, the camera and trying to do all this bullshit with my, with my hand here. That's gonna sit up there just like that right there. Pass through and it's gonna connect to my fittings. All right, get this out the way, right there. So there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. All right, guys, check this out. I decided to do one video instead of doing two. You know what? It wasn't going to be much after I got everything put together. So let me spin this camera back around. Let me show you what. Okay, we guys, got. this is what we got. All the hoses are ran. I got my bulkhead in here. It's everything is just placed in there, it is not buttoned down. But question one, I see it on Facebook a lot. Everybody's like, hey, where is everybody mounting their computers? Guys, I mount mine right on top of the wheel here. So everything is buttoned up nice and clean, nice and tight. Let me zoom in, let me sit down, let me show you. All my hoses are here. I got the uh, heater hoses and the AC hoses. I wanna prop the hood up, but I can't because obviously I got one hinge off. I just got it propped up with a uh, extension here, and but hey, it works. So how I did this here, I got uh, a blazer about maybe four inch bolts and I turned them upside down, fastened them with two nuts, so that way it made a little pedestal. Got some spray paint, spray painted this here, that way it marked it. I drilled the holes, spun it back around, and put them back up underneath, boom. So I got a bolt here, and then with the spacing, I put extra bolts. So when this presses down, and then I have my lock nuts here, and put that back, I don't wanna lose that. Uh, I've automatically got a spacer. Got my hoses all buttoned up underneath here, nice and tight. Got one, got two of them going there. And then the other one, which is the high pressure and is going to the dryer right there. So, bulkhead that is a pass-through. I don't ever have to worry about that. Leaking again, I hated that bulkhead because I was a caveman because I couldn't, uh, again, you know, there's my O-ring. Always got it down too tight and always had to be the one right there bulkhead. These are the O-rings, the fittings that are gonna go right there and voila go this way right, so here in the inside that's the bulkhead i gotta bolt it down and seal it off put those o-rings there that'll seal it up and 
Let's open the glove box. And you can't see much, but let me tell you, God dang, it's a tight fitting. Whoo, I can't, I have no room, no room in there at all. But there she sits, I just got some cleaning up to do, and man, job done. There you go, guys. Hey, like I said, quick and simple video. Not much to it. But anyway, guys, stick around, and I've still got a little bit more coming. And as always, drop safe, be safe. See you guys in the next video.